Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to receive SMS notifications for Facebook lead ads. So imagine this, you have generated a new lead called as John from Facebook lead ad forms. So you have John's name, email address and of course the phone number. So you want to send a confirmation SMS to John's phone number. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of John from Facebook lead ad forms. Sort it out, compose a message and send it manually on SMS sending apps like Twilio. The problem with this approach is it's actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new lead is added in Facebook lead ad forms, it will automatically send an SMS on SMS sending apps like Twilio. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Facebook and Twilio. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so we are going to begin with a small example. So this is a form that I have built in my Facebook. So this is basically my Facebook form. And imagine a guy called as Joey is filling the form. So the first name is Joey. The last name is Manuel. Okay. And this is Joey's phone number. This is the value that uh, he's uh, bidding for. And this is the payment that he has got. And this is the email of Joey. Okay, Joey, the rate gmail.com. Your typical Facebook form, that's all. And this is Joey's full, num full name. Okay. Okay, so a guy called as Joey has filled in this form. He's going to click on next and he's going to submit this form. Okay, so the form has been submitted. So basically, the idea is that when Joey submits this form, he will be getting an SMS from me. So basically, this is the SMS that Joey has received. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the SMS. Hello, Joey Manuel. Thank you for registering Facebook forms. The value added is 300 and the payment you are getting is 1000. Thank you. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. When a person or a respondent fills in your Facebook form, he will be getting an SMS from me because I have created the Facebook form. Okay. Okay. So the form has been submitted that we have got the SMS. So to begin the actual integration process, we are going to use Pably, Pably.com. So your obvious question is why Pably.com? Well, we have an app called as Pably Connect to integrate Facebook lead ad forms to SMS sending apps like Twilio. So this is the website of Pably.com. So let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. So before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, this is the same workflow that had given the result. For example, we had uh, entered the form details here and we have got the SMS. So basically it was using this workflow. Now I'm going to switch off this workflow. The reason being because we are going to create a new workflow. And if there is a same workflow running parallel to it, it will create the problem of duplication of results. So to avoid double results, I've uh, switched off this workflow. So we are going to begin from scratch by clicking on create workflow. Okay, so the name I'm going to give it as Facebook to Twilio. Now Twilio is an SMS sending app. You can also use many other SMS sending app like SMS Horizon or D7 network. It will basically work fine as well. So let me just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, if you want to replicate or clone this workflow, the link of this workflow is available in the description box. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Facebook? Okay, so here we have two choices, the Facebook comments and Facebook lead ads. We are going with Facebook lead ads. In the trigger event, how about we make it as new lead? Okay, so new lead is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically an if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new lead is created in Facebook, then what action should be taken by the system? We do have one more trigger event that is new lead legacy. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabri.com to custom build a trigger event for you. But at present, I just basically want to create a uh, send the data when a new lead is made in Facebook. So let me just click on connect with Facebook. Okay, in the new credential, let me just click on connect with Facebook. 
ओके सो इट इज शोइंग द ऑथराइजेशन इज सक्सेसफुल जस्ट प्रेस ओके सो एज यू कैन सी वी हैव टू फील्ड्स दैट इज पेज एंड द लीड जनरेशन फॉर्म सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द पेज सो बेसिकली दीज आर ऑल द पेजेस दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन माय फेसबुक सो लेट मी जस्ट टेक यू टू माय पेजेस ओके सो एज यू कैन सी आई एम जस्ट क्लिकिंग ऑन पेजेस सो दीज आर ऑल द पेजेस आई हैव all the pages that is present here is being simply reflected here okay so imagine i select a page called as uh, let's say red tech reviews okay so i have uh, selected a page called as red tech reviews and for this particular page we don't have any lead generation form so that is why it is leaving as blank now for your consideration i have created a page called as my page and for this particular page we have a ton of forms so these are all the forms present in my page called as my page let me explain you better so let me just take you to the page so this is the page my page okay so let me just take you to the publishing tools so basically what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to show you all the lead generation forms i have so this is the page and this is the library of uh, lead generation form let me just click on try business suit now there is something you should know i'm working with the facebook business profile now if you're working with the normal facebook profile it will also work fine it won't really matter okay so now coming to the forms so as you can see these are all the forms i have all the forms that is present here is being simply reflected here okay so this is because facebook is now integrated with public connect so imagine i want to extract the data from this particular form deals for today so this is the page this is the page deals for today so i'm just going to click this okay and i'm just going to click on test form okay so basically now we are going to fill all the details let me just remove this old cache old data we have okay so the name of the person is cheryl and the last name is jones cheryl jones and this is the phone number and this is the value okay she has been assigned a value of 2000 and this is the payment she is getting in hand and uh, this is the email of cheryl cheryl jones 123@gmail.com just a random email and this is the full name cheryl jones cheryl jones and let me just click on next and let me just click on submit okay so basically a form has been submitted by a person called as cheryl jones so let me just take you to public connect and when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead i repeat again it will fetch the data of the recently created lead so in my case the recently created lead is cheryl james cheryl jones okay so it will fetch the data of the recently created lead that is cheryl jones so let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see these are all the details so the first name is cheryl the last name is jones this is the phone number this is the value that is 2000 and this is the payment in hand that is 3000 this is the email cheryl jones 123@gmail.com and this is the full name cheryl jones so basically these are all the details now basically we are going to send an sms to cheryl jones maybe to send maybe to confirm her that her uh, lead has been received or just to send a simple thank you so to do that let me just click on this plus button now when we click on this plus button another window opens up this window is called as the action window now in the choose app how about we make it as twilio now basically we will be using twilio to send the sms now if you have any other app like sms horizon or d7 networks it will also work fine so twilio it is and in the action event how about we make it as send sms message send sms message is an action event there are many more action event like call phone send mms message all of them are a bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you want more action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate public.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to send an sms message so let me just click on connect with twilio in the new credentials we have to fill in the account sid authorization token and again account sid so let's start with account sid so to get the account sid let me just go to twilio and let me just click on settings okay so let me just click on settings and uh, so as you can see oh of course i have to make the authentication so basically i have to enter re-enter my password okay so this is my password okay okay so here we have two choices in the api credential section we have two choices the live credentials and the test credentials so we are going with the live one so this is my account sid i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here 
okay so we have entered the account as id now coming to the authorization token so basically this is my authorization token let me just remove the privacy copy this and i'm going to paste it here so this is my authorization token so once again i'm just uh, going to enter the account as id because this blank also demands the account as id okay so we have entered the details we have pasted the account as id two times and we have entered the authorization token let me just click on save okay so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blank is very simple we are going to compose a message in twilio from the data that we have received from facebook lead ads via public connect so in the body of the sms we are just going to type a very simple message thank you and the name of the person is let me just click here and let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button so in the first accordion you will find all the details that we have received from facebook so the name is cheryl jones thank you cheryl jones now i'm going to introduce the rest of the details in the next line so that is why i'm going to put slash n thank you cheryl jones for filling out the form this is your this is your value and uh, the value she had entered was uh, 2000 or 3000 or something 300 and uh, this is the amount and this is the amount so let me just scroll down and okay so this is the amount okay i'm sorry i'm just uh, confused okay yeah this is your value payment in hand or this is your payment in hand payment and this is the total amount total amount okay so thank you cheryl jones for uh, filling out the form this is your payment and this is the total amount excellent so now in the sender number we are just going to map my number so here i'm just going to the uh, type in my number that i have received from twilio so this is the number so this is my twilio number and as you can see uh, there's a particular format that we have to follow in front of the sender number you have to add the plus sign so i'm just going to do that easy now comes the recipient number so the recipient number is basically cheryl J jones number so i'm just going to click on this mapping button and i'm just going to click here and this is the number okay so this is not full actually so as you can see it demands a particular format in front of the number we have to add plus nine one so plus nine one it is okay so we have entered the recipient number we have entered the sender number and also we have constructed and composed the body of the sms all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to send the message so let me do that okay so the api response is showing that we have sent the sms so let me just show you the sms so this is how it reads thank you cheryl jones for filling out this form this is your payment 300 and this is the amount 2000 excellent so the presence of this sms shows that we have successfully integrated facebook and twilio with help of public connect now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm going to minimize my action window and i'm going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated facebook lead ads to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to twilio so now there's a perfect flow of data between facebook and twilio excellent not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.